Buddha tells me to run me to a more eye. He said, spread this religion, even give it one eye, one verse, one sign, spread it. He said, family who? Plural. Male, female, young, old. You can give down to your neighbor, and you're not the fatigue as much. Just by being kind to your neighbor, and you do it as a Muslim, that's the full of that. Because many one day you will come to say, why did you do this? Why do you act like this? That's probably how the Islam spread here. The virgins came to people saw how they were acting, they were honest, they were clean, and people wanted to be like them. So outreach today in Southern Africa, we are looking at Dawa as a real solution to the relevant problems facing society today. So in other words, Dawa is not just a lecture. It's not a debate. Not debating something. But Dawa is calling for the good and forbidding evil. If there is a problem in society, we need to give the Islamic solution. We need to reach out to non-Muslims, people of other faiths, and not be afraid. Bring this love to the people. That is our job. This is the amount that was left for us by the Prophet of the It's a practical thing. Help the society. One of the Imams in New York City, his name is Imam Zaran Mahaj. And he is a well-known person who worked with New York, Master Kakwa. And it is said, that in this section of Brooklyn, across the street from his mom, was the most dangerous place in New York City. The drug dealers place. Drug dealers. And the drug addicts would come to get their drugs. So if you came to the mom, in the daytime, they were drunk. They would take your guns. They would take your money. That's why the park there is there. That's why I said to the brother, I said, where did you put your shoes? He said, put it outside. If you put the shoes outside and take them out, somebody will start a business with your shoes. Okay? So this place was so uh, dangerous. And Imam Surah al took a shoe up with the other Imam, and they gathered together a group of strong Muslims, and when the drug dealers were selling their drugs, they went inside the place, and they smashed all their things, and they stood in front of us. When the drug dealers came, they pulled out their weapons, and they looked at the Muslims, and they said, no, these people have death in their eyes. They don't want to live. We want to live because we have money, right? We want to spend our money. We don't want to die. We said, we have money. These people, they're not in this world. So they left their house, and Imam Zirad Wahajan's masjid became the safest place in the earth. It became so safe that the mayor of New York called him in and gave him an award for cleaning up his neighborhood. And people in other parts of New York, non Muslims, brought him out to and they said, How did you do this? And he explained to them. But then they said, We are questioning him. What is it that gives you strength to your followers? Why did you do this? And he said, You really want to know? He said, Yes. He said, One second. They said, what is it? He said, that is not in the long holiday. That's Dawa. And then he explained to them the basic of This is a practical form of Dawa that affects people, it helps the society, we gain the respect, we fulfill a functional role in our society. This is what Muslims need to do, to be functional in society, to be a benefit. This is what we are. We're a mercy. And not a burden upon the city. Or a burden upon the nation. So I leave you with these thoughts. And I ask them all, I'm from a job that have mercy on me and on you. And to protect your children and to raise them up. And to help us all to live up to this Havana and this trust. And to protect us from the terror which is unleashed against us. And the lie. They are all make the light of the cross come clear and raise up Muslims who will take this light to the four corners of the earth. And who will only have the last word of the Lord in all of them to the land of the land of the Lord.